What's up guys, it's Pocket Knives Collector. And today we're back here with a Hogue knife. My dream knife. And as you can tell by the title, we're looking at the Hogue Deca. Now you guys had no idea I was getting this. I had no idea I was getting this until yesterday. So, I picked it up yesterday. So let's get into it. <clears throat> let's get the pouch that Hogue offers. You get this thing, which, I don't know, it's one of those U-line things, whatever you call it. Get a hook knife sticker, mine's kind of bent and stuff, so I'll just put that on my knife drawer thing. Let's see. Looks like you have a manual. Manual right here. And it has the deck on it. So, the model I have is the Blue Lava G10 Tumbled Clip Point. So, before I even get into the knife, this is Hogue's K320 Legion pouch. This is the small pouch, this is their medium pouch. There is no large pouch that I know of, besides maybe a fixed blade. And then, here's the Civivi Dogma pouch. So, I don't know if you guys really care about pouches. I leave them in the pouches, in my safe, just because. But, let's open it. And I have been really impressed with Hogue over Benchmade. You'll see why in a second. So here is the knife itself. The Hogue Deca. With the Blue Lava G10. Now this has a deep carry pocket clip. Which is the one I've wanted. I got this at a local seller. I'm not going to say who it was. If you guys could follow my Instagram. Then you will know. But let's open the blade. It's a very pretty knife. Very pretty. Made in USA, just like all Hogs. Elishwitz, whatever. I think Elishwitz. CPM 20 CV steel, which I have been notified. It is better than Benchmade's S30 V steel. No, by Benchmade, I'm saying this steel that's on the Benchmade 535 bug out. So, like I said, deep carry pocket clip. This is a tighter pocket clip, but it has a hole there so you can kind of, you know, pinch your finger into that. And this is not just a texture. It is actually not smooth, as you can tell. Just like that, you can tell that's textured. So was that. So, Benchmade uses their Axis Lock. Yes, I'm gonna be comparing this to the bug out. Benchmade uses the Axis Lock on theirs. So if you guys don't know, you just pull down, and flick it over, or push it. Hogue uses what they call an able lock that's their lock and I think the able lock is more satisfying of a click so for a thumb stud it looks like they're using the same thing Looks like everything looks the same, even the screw, the blade screw, which I have tightened and stuff. It comes a little loose. It still is a little, but it almost has to be. I think the bug out is too. Okay, my bug out isn't. Um, I could probably tighten it. 
and I probably will tighten it. So, I mean, it's fine for me right now. So you do get choils up here. There is a significant drop off here, but I would not choke up here. Just because it's just like the bug out. Yeah, I wouldn't choke there either. So, very cool blue G10 lava design. Clip, it's cool. It's a stone wash design blade. Like I said, I'm not gonna detail pricing on the seller that I got it from. Um, so let's do some comparisons here. On the very left is going to be the Hogue. And we're going to use the Benchmade bug out. This is the full size. I'm going to put it back to back. Actually, I'm going to go blade to... Okay, so... Hold on, guys. i got to take this off real quick. And i got to get it, like, perfect. Looks like, guys, the Hogue is just a little bit bigger. Barely. So I'll set them down there. Um, in the very left of the Hogue, we're going to put the Hogue K320, which is definitely significantly bigger. Take this out. The mini bug out. Definitely smaller. Um, Civivi Dogma. A little bit bigger. Benchmade Mini Grip. Definitely smaller. See, Spider Co Minix 2, definitely. Uh, smidgen bigger. Here, let's see. Spider Co, Para, Para 3 Lightweight. I always forget them. It's a little barely smaller. I think that's all the comparisons I really have for it. I'll pull out the Buck 112 for you. I do everyday carry a buck 112. This is barely smaller. Um, this knife comes very, very sharp from factory. You ought to be very careful with it. Um, it's just a very solid knife. I really like it. Centering is pretty good from factory. Um, let me shut that. It's just real nice. I'm going to do some comparisons on blocks here real quick. Um, I don't know if the Griptilian locks are the same as the bug out. So I'm just going to put some of these different locks in here. So, we did the review of the knife, okay? Um, now I'm going to see which lock is the best. No, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to beat it with a hammer until it closes, because these knives aren't cheap. Because most of you guys that are collectors know. So, the Benchmade Mini Grip Tillion. I don't have the full size yet. Keyword, yet. I am 98... I'm two knives away from 100 so, maybe, maybe my hundredth is a griptilian, maybe. So, this griptilian is still new and stuff, so I gotta really break it in. But the lock, very smooth. 
bench made bug out. I'd say smoother. And you can see this knife bounces. Unless I close it perfectly. I need to bug out a little to a little bit. No, it won't. Unless I'm just so familiar. Um, the Hoag with the Able Lock. I'd say the Able Lock from Hogue is the smoothest so far. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm good at flicking, like the closing with these locks, but I'm so used to the bug out still. Because I, I know where the bug out closes at the perfect time. This one, I don't know. And then Spider Crow's ball bearing. Now this lock. Sorry about that. You can tell. You don't have to move it as much as that but that is gonna be the end of the video guys so if you did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe